down in Cornwall with champion racer Glenn English. He's just put a rare MV Augusta replica through its paces, and unsurprisingly, we're green with envy. Now, these bikes go for 120 grand upwards, which puts them beyond the means of most of us, but Glenn's promised me that there is another way to acquire one without selling the house. When he's not racing, Glenn, ably abetted by his daughter Danielle, is a one-man cottage, or should I say shed industry, producing scale models so precise and authentic, you wonder what you've been drinking. His latest is this, a perfect model of an MV Augusta. How long does it take to do a bike like that from scratch? I started that and it taken me about 15 months to make that. What? Yeah. Every day? Evenings I'll do mainly on that. I don't watch a lot of telly and I don't go down the pub. Before he starts, Glenn first gets hold of a quarter scale line drawing to act as the template for everything that follows. So in one evening I made the sump. And the next evening I came out and I made that part. And then the next day I made that part. And then seven days later that was made. Building the frame is faster, but requires equal precision. So you've got a jig, and then you weld, solder? All soldered, all soldered that yeah. one is, yeah. Once the engine and frame have been modelled and moulded, Glenn moves on to the smaller components. First he hand-builds the prototypes, then he creates moulds from vulcanised rubber discs. These are the moulds for all of the little bits, cogs, uh, front brake uh, plate there. Put those together. I'll put that in there. Then once the moulds have been compressed in the gloriously named centrifugal casting machine, in goes the molten pewter, and a few minutes later... Do you really know? Is it? Oh, there you go, mate, you see? Yeah. That's it, is it, mate? That's it. And then... Oh, blimey, look at that. Rear sprocket. Uh, oh, plate. man, look That's at that front brake plate. plate. I've learned so much. Fantastic. It takes an amazing amount of work to produce a car or a bike that would make Tom Thumb proud, but the prices they command are far from miniature. If I was a multi-millionaire or a wealthy man, yeah. I would pay you ten grand. Yeah, ten grand we could have one. Would I get any change? you get a little bit, but not, not too much. So, as my first girlfriend used to say, nothing good comes cheap, but in truth, these models are simply priceless. And talking of priceless... 